everybody, it's Shamise 1982 and I'm back with a review of um, a drugstore product and it's Revlon's Nearly Naked. Now, um, you know that I bought this about a month ago, I did a haul video um, sometime in January and I purchased the Nearly Naked from Revlon. Um, I got it in color 260 caramel um, and I was, like I said before, I was looking for something that would be cheaper <laughs> and um, work just as good as my Urban Decay Naked that I use. Um, and uh, just for color comparison, I'm 260 Caramel in Revlon and I am number 9.0 in the Urban Decay Naked. Um, just some comparisons to the two. Um, this one did not, um, the Revlon did not irritate my face as much as the Newly Naked. Um, I noticed that when I would wear this, my face would be itchy and um, just feel like I had something on. Um, but with the Revlon, um, my face has not been itchy at all. I have really sensitive skin, um, so I know instantly something's not going to work. Now, to, the, to the, the point where my skin was itchy, it wasn't you know, the first thing time I put it on, it was like halfway through the day and then it would start to get itchy. So I'm not going to say it's for sure this product, but I know whenever I'm wearing this, my face is itchy, um, gets itchy periodically. So um, I'm not sure if it's something that's slow irritation within this product or what, but um, as far as the weightlessness, um, both of them are probably um, equal, but this one's a little bit better. It really does feel like you're not wearing much. Um, with, as opposed to this one, after a while it feels like Oh my gosh, I have so much makeup, so much makeup on my face, kind of a thing. Um, as far as staying ability, I use the same face primer on both for both of these. I use my Ulta face primer for both of these, and um, this one, the Revlon, um, when I rub on it, it doesn't come off. Like I don't, it does not come off. The Naked, on the other hand, kind of runs on my hand. I've noticed. Um, and I don't know if that has something to do with my skin type or what, but um, I've noticed that it does run a little bit. This one's a little bit more oily than this one. I've heard the vice versa on these two, but I think it just is a, it really depends on your skin type. I do not have oily skin. I have dry skin. So I have to moisturize my skin constantly um, just to make sure that it's okay. Um, Another pro that I like about the Revlon Nearly Naked, other than the price, <laughs> um, is that it has sunscreen in it. And I don't see on here on the Naked that it has sunscreen in it. And I think that is something that, um, especially as women, um, as we age, that we need sunscreen. It protects our skin and it keeps us aging good, you know, and that sort of thing. Um, and I'm trying to find stuff that has sunscreen to put on my face just so I don't have to put actual sunscreen on my face. Um, I'm not out in the sun running around or anything every day, but you sometimes don't realize how much sun exposure that you get, you know, that sort of thing. So better be safe than sorry, you know. Um, what I did like about the Naked, um, I like the bottle and the fact that it has a pump. It makes it easier to evenly distribute it on your brush when you're putting on your makeup. And this, on the other hand, you have to pour. Uh, I started using it on my hand and then putting it on the brush, um, but I'm gone to actually pouring it on the brush because I started on my hand being dirty. <laughs> um, but it seems to work okay, but you know, you can sometimes put a little too much. That is one thing that's good about the Urban Decay, it has a pump, it's easier to use, and you're less likely to overuse product when you're using this. Um, I'm not very sure if there is a companion to the um, Naked as far as um, powder goes, but when I do use the Revlon Nearly Naked, I use their powder um, to put over what I already put on as far as foundation. And I use the medium to deep foundation powder. Um, and I think you can use this, if you're just a powder girl and you don't like to use liquid foundation, you just want some minimal coverage, um, I think this is something that would be great. I think this is about $9.99 versus the $18 for the Urban Decay. So for those of you who are drugstore people and are trying to find something cheap, um, I would recommend this. Um, again, my skin is dry. My skin needs moisture. Um, I don't have, um, I used to have issues with oil being oily, but I do not. So for those of you who have oily skin, I, you know, I, I can't tell you um, which one's better because I don't have oily skin, I just don't. 
So I couldn't tell you how it's going to affect you with oily skin. Um, I have dry skin, <laughs> again, dry sensitive skin. So for those of you that have sensitive skin, like I said, this one seemed to irritate me more than this one. Um, I've been using, I use both around an equal amount of time. Um, and again, if you're looking for something with sunscreen in it, this one does have it. Another pro for me about the Revlon um, Nearly Naked is it seems that they have more variety in colors. Um, but I think Urban Decay is a lot of variety as far as colors go as well. Um, but I think it's easier to match up with Revlon if you've already, already used Revlon. Um, another pro for me is you can use coupons <laughs> on the Revlon products. Um, I will tell you, I went out and I bought two more of these because I had coupons at Ulta. Um, they had Revlon products, buy one, get one half off. These are, let's just estimate them to be at $10 or $9.99, but say $10. So I got one at $10. And I paid five dollars for the second one. Well, Revlon every month comes out with coupons in the newspaper that is two dollars off a face product. So I was able to use two dollars off of this one and two dollars off the second one. So this was eight dollars and the second one was three dollars. Well, on top of that at Ulta, you can use their coupons on top of the coupons that you're using as long as um, they're within their guidelines. So since this one, my total was still over $10, I was able to use a $3.50 off of 10. Um, so my total was 13, okay, before tax, and I was able to use 350 off of 10. So you know what that means. I got the second one for free, and this one a dollar cheaper. So, no wait, eight and three is what I mean. I'm sorry, it was $11 was my total, so I still got this one for free, and I got some money off of this one. So I ended up paying about $7 for two, and these are, they would have cost me $20, basically. This is all before tax, of course. With tax, it was probably about $8 or $9. Um, so it's a good deal when you can find the coupons and use them. Um, if you don't want to buy two, you don't know if you like it, just use a coupon on one, and then you, this way you're saving money on stuff you're, you're trying out. So just a word to the wise. Uh, these coupons are out um, all the time for Revlon if you um, you can purchase them if you don't buy the paper that sort of thing so it always works out but I would recommend the Revlon Nearly Naked uh, for those of you that have dry skin and have sensitive skin um, no irritation on my skin whatsoever so I would recommend it I apologize my allergies are really bad today um, but I would recommend the product so that is my review if you have any questions, put a uh, comment below if you have any questions about the product, and I will see you guys in the next video. Purchase.